Okay then, folks, and we are back. So, after about an hour of searching, and yes, I, I know it's a literal hour and that's kind of sad, um, I finally found two essences of evil. However, what the hell is burning me? What the hell just did that? Okay, so, since we know that there is a ghast in this area, we're going to want to keep track of him somehow. Now, I don't know where we're going to find him. He's probably somewhere. I mean, we saw him earlier. He, he launched a bloody friggin' fireball at us. So, we know he's here, and we know he's dangerous. And uh, I'm just going to break that. Save us a little bit of headache. Oh, damn. Okay, yep, that, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of fire. So I'm going to just, um... I'm going to just run. Go down here. Maybe just not get involved. Oh, damn, that's a lot of lava down there. We need to really be careful when it comes to hunting down ghasts. Okay, so this seems like a good location uh, to quickly teleport back to the portal. And uh, we can begin. How do you cows get here? So, to those of you who don't know, um, Keller Angel and Metal 007 had their baby not too long ago. Yeah, so this is, this is awesome. And they asked me to be the godfather. So, if any of you fuckers show up on the night of her wedding and start demanding shit of me, I'm going to start popping some caps in someone's ass. Okay. And... Boom. We now have a cursed lasso. So, we need a ghast and a bat. Now, the leather is not going to be a problem. As most of you know, we have, you know, a very good source of... Uh, leather up, upstairs outside. So, let's just use our squid flying ring here. Just, yep, just squidding around. Okay. Okay. So, I can now jet propel myself upwards. But we're not really interested in that. What we want, well, nay, what we need is a bat. Sadly, it seems that bats not common in areas that have a large amount of, uh, well, for lack of a better term, torches. This place is very well lit up. I think we need to find a cave of some sort and catch a bat there. Because if we can catch the bat, we'll have the ability to fly free, and catching bats really won't be that big of an issue for us anymore. But, up until that moment, we need a fucking bat. So, let's, let's go looking around in our mine for right now. Perhaps one of our minions was kind enough to dig into a cave for us. I am really hungry for some odd reason. Oh, also, recently, me and my family took a trip to Hawaii. Yes, the Hawaii. <gasps> oh, wow, that's that's amazing. Actually, I did not expect to find diamonds here. <laughs> but, okay. You know, that just goes to show you, you find diamonds at the most unexpected times and places. So it's best just to have your diamond... Okay, nope, we can't go that way. This must just be a massive lake of lava above us. I think we should... Consider mining up. No. 
Okay. Let's wait for our squid ring to refill. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can mine above the lava now. And I know you're all thinking, uh, Moretti, this is a really fucking dumb idea, because now you just made a way for creepers to fall into your tunnel. Well, don't worry, smartass. I'm going to seal it after we're done. careful. Also, we probably want to make sure to memorize wherever the hell it is we came out over there. Ooh, iron. We could use some more iron. You know something? No matter how good you get at the equivalent exchange mod, you will never run out of uses for iron. Let me just throw some of these stone swords into the lava here. We may actually want to consider dropping stuff off. Is it possible that I have lost completely and utterly the way I came in? I mean, it seems kind of ridiculous to think that I could lose it so quickly, but apparently that is the case. Now I know many of you are thinking, hey, why is his bow and why is his uh, pickaxe twitching like that? And uh, it's because they're excited. No, I'm kidding. It's not because they're excited. Um, it is because I happen to have my amulet of mending on me, which makes... <laughs> oh, there we go. See? Yeah, found the way back. Okay, so there wasn't any bats in there. Uh, maybe we should consider... Ooh, you know what we haven't tried yet? Let's try flying up the staircase. We may get, uh, to see how well Okay, yeah, you see, that was a pretty impressive display of the usefulness of this ring. It would most certainly save me in the midst of a fall. And, I mean, a substantial fall, not some weak little fall. Okay, so, first I want to go out and explore the world until we find a bat. Don't care about you. Actually, you know what? Before we go out and almost get ourselves killed for certain, how about we put some of our perfectly good shit back inside? Yeah, I'm thinking we may be able to find some in the roofed forest over there. So that'll probably be the first place we go looking. Ooh. But, since we are going out there... Okay, so... Uh, 
Let's see here. Oh, okay. Now, Witherbone. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We have... Dragon Bone. So, with this, I should be able to make a Dragon Bone Sword. Eight attack damage. It dwarfs my current Iron Sword and makes a Diamond Sword superfluous. And if I ever find an Ice Dragon or a Fire Dragon, I can actually increase the damage I do to the opposite by getting a Dragon Bone Sword and soaking it in either Ice Blood or Fire Blood. Which may seem ridiculous, but you know. Ridiculous is, as Charlie is, so. Yeah, I think the first place we should probably go check is the Roofed Forest before it becomes daytime. Because I know those bats are very hard to find, and it may take us a while. Yes, and while all the monsters are following us across the plain, they're going to start catching fire very soon. Okay, yeah, there's that dragon over there that we don't like. What the... Okay, I don't remember this. <gasps> oh my god. I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what this was. This was a um, ruin left uh, in the wake of Mousy's mob. Sadly, it was a fantastic mod. All, all love goes out to that creator. But the issue with it was she didn't name her um, mobs in a hexadecimal format. So they take up blank mob slots. And as many of you can imagine, we have a lot of mobs that are like that already. So, Ooh. what? Wait. Huh? What in the fuck did this? Holy shit! Oh, it was that dragon that did it. Okay, okay, quick, uh, run, everybody, run! The dragon. Let's see here. Yes, with this ring, I can happily hover above this annoying flo flowing water and see that there's no bats back here. So that's just... That's, that's magical. I wonder if he's able to see me through blocks. I really hope that that dragon is not able to see me through blocks. Okay. So, we're underground right now, and I'm not seeing any bats. Let's keep looking. My fear is that one day I'm going to come over the mountain and the dragon's just going to be sitting there waiting to scorch my flesh. The words of the heavy, my flesh, it burns.
Yeah, we have enough gigantic creatures that go around breaking blocks, so I kind of turned off creeper damage, if that makes any sense. Okay, so this video is one minute over our usual time, so I'm just going to head, going to head and uh, going to end it right here. See you next time. Bye.